Okay, I best start that again because the telephone call interrupted me. That's where I started at the top. The mountain over there is a really good demonstration, illustration of what I was saying earlier about the red soil in between the basalt columns and the pillow rock. You can see why it falls down. The, uh, the pale green edifice up there, that's where the road fell down one year. Luckily, nobody was on it at the time. Actually, they're extremely lucky here. But whenever there's a, a bit of a rockfall disaster, very, very rare that people get killed. Of course, there was 2010, um, the flood disaster, which had mud rushes and quite a few deaths. But that was very unusual. You'll see, uh, this is truly banana land here. Lots and lots of bananas. <laughs> I wonder if it's punishment to the, or the youngest apprentice. Yeah, you deal with those up there. <laughs> the older guys stay at the bottom. It's got to be something like that. Mind you, you should see the physiques on these, uh, even the old banana guys. They are hard muscly. A, a hand of bananas weighs between 45 and 60 kilos. And they just heft them around like they're nothing. We used banana men as uh, furniture removal people when our stuff arrived on the island. And it was bish bosh, they had it done in no time flat. Madalena do Mar, now that it's got the tunnel, it really is very quiet down here. But lovely. Lovely. Again, I mostly see the same people every day or every time. I don't always come every day. Look at that. Good wave coming in. I must take you for a walk along um, Paul de Mar and Jardin de Mar. They're really pretty little places further along the island. Uh, Paul de Mar is surface heaven. They once had the um, world championships there. Anyway, sweet viewers, I'm about to pick up the pace and head as far as you can see as fast as I can go and then get my lift back home. Speak later. Bye bye.